What is that? This is Boris. Okay, Boris is staring at me. No. No, he's, he was. He's an animal. We didn't get him. I got him outside. Okay, he's doing it again. Yeah. Are you nervous? I don't like animals. Ah! I don't like Boris. <laughs> Hi, it's Richie and Abe in the Sonic Dad Studios. Howdy, folks. We are here to bring you another preview of the project that will be coming out next. Mm -hmm. So, how are you? Are you okay? Calming down. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. You want to tell them what just happened to you? Yes, I do. Okay. I was trail running above my house, and I almost stepped on a rattlesnake. For real? Yep. And here, you know, we video everything, and I videoed this encounter. Check it out. It's crazy. Gosh. That dude is huge. Okay, well, I'm glad it didn't bite you in the ankle. Yeah, I mean, ultimately I'm a friend to the animal kingdom. So, yeah, I picked him up and we just held one another for a time. Actually, I ran home, <laughs> like weeping. I'm done with the trails for this season. <laughs> a couple months ago, I saw a really cool toy it's basically a plastic rocket and it has a base and you hook it to the, uh, your garden hose and the rocket balances on a beam of water and uh, kind of doubles as, uh, as a sprinkler and a flying toy. And I thought it would be a really cool Sonic Dad project and wanted to uh, try to design my own version of it. So Project 61 is the Sonic Water Blast rocket. It's going to be a skill level six, which is a supersonic expert level and will take about three hours to build. It's comprised of three parts. This it, only, it only took you like three hours to design, right? It took me almost three weeks to build this one. How many prototypes did you go through? I got a couple here. Well, I don't know. I have a room full of dead rockets. You should see his house. It's amazing. So this was prototype number 12-ish, and this is close to 30. So. Here's the final version right here, and I also have a blue one. So the uh, the rocket itself is made from a two-liter bottle, pop bottle. Um, got some craft foam. That's a little thicker. Yeah, the fins are a little thicker. What and what was it that made it so difficult? Why so many iterations? Well, just getting to fly is pretty tricky. There's a lot of science involved getting it to balance on the beam has a lot to do with the shape of the cone underneath the nose cone and being able to shed the water um, so basically the way this works let me explain it here so you've got the launch pad you've got the rocket and this little device here which is the throttle so you would hook the, uh, your garden hose to this end and then you'll need another garden hose I use a 15 foot hose that runs from here to the base of the rocket so you would turn on your spigot, this is the throttle, you crack the throttle a little bit. You want bit. to instantly, like as hard as you can. Well that is one method. Okay, so actually you just want to... I like to crack the slowly. throttle and uh, you, you'll get a little beam of water coming out, the rocket will kind of balance on that for a minute, and then you can start throttling up and it actually leaves the launch pad balancing on that beam of water. Well, on, on this project I use this fitting which is a hose no. sweeper call it a sweeper attachment. Basically, it's a nozzle and you get a really high velocity, narrow stream of water. It has a dual purpose. Really? What's the other purpose? Uh, I'm can, afraid to ask. You can use this to clean really? out your nose in allergy season. Okay. I wasn't aware of that. It didn't mention Same that. Same kind package. of throttle. Yeah. That sounds uncomfortable. <laughs> Works. So, um, it's really important in this design that when the water hits the cone, of course the cone is what centers, keeps the rocket centered. So you're, you're talking about inside of the nose cone. Yeah. There can, is an actual cone in there. Actual cone. This is the guts of the rocket. That's the secret that makes it fly right there. This is the innards. Plus the, uh, plus the mass that hangs below it keeps it stable. One of the purposes for the fins, get the mass down low. So as the water hits the cone, it separates out, spreads out here, and it's important that the water is shed 
off of the rocket, if it were to go down inside, I've tried this several times. If it goes down inside the rocket, it actually is very heavy before it rolls off the plastic, mm. so you've got to get rid of it. Yeah. It does happen if you get a little excited, like some, probably <laughs> Jake, and you just slam it down. Full throttle takeoff. Well, I always kid test my stuff. So uh, during the testing phase with my nieces and nephews, um, they started out doing really nice controlled Gentle. takeoffs. And one of them figured out it was really cool if you just nail the throttle and launch the rocket. Well, this will uh, fly, I don't know, 25 feet in the air. And then at the apex, it flips over and then pile drives itself into the ground, destroying <laughs> the rocket. So probably half of the development time was figuring out how to build this so that it wouldn't destroy itself when it hit the ground. So what's, finally uh, got it for it. What's this made of? That is a uh, vending machine toy capsule, half of it. I love it. And you can buy those. You might have to put a few quarters in the machine, but you can get them in different colors and you can get your phone to coordinate with those. So <laughs> you can have that. Thank you. The friendship bracelet. Yes. Friends. So that's project number 61, the Sonic Water Blast Rocket. Hope you have a good time building it. Had a lot of fun developing this one. I'm going to build this with the boys. We're going to have a ball. It's a perfect time of year. It makes a great sprinkler and it's just fun to fly. And uh, one of the things I like to do, you know, I'm playing with my nephews and nieces, is to see how good a pilot you are. Get the rocket as high as you can. If you go too high, the beam, you know, starts to spread out a little bit and the rocket gets a little bit unstable. So the idea is to test your skill and see how high you can get it without losing the beam and letting it fall off. So There's also a kind form of, of like musical chairs where the kids just go in a circle and they jump over the rocket when the music stops. Boom! <laughs> I didn't try that. I'm maybe sure maybe one of you will try that. <laughs> That's not how we designed this. No. So, hope you enjoyed this project. If you like this video, uh, please comment below, like it, subscribe to our channel. We really appreciate your support. And also, we appreciate your support on uh, our, our Facebook page, which is growing. Yeah, it's really growing. We're coming up on 4,000 people on Facebook. And uh, every time we release a new vid, we put it there and just general announcements. And it's a great place to interact with us. So we, we really appreciate your support. So until next time, I'm Richie, this is Abe. Now it's your turn to go make something cool. See you next time. See ya. He was... Where'd you go? He's a normal. I got him outside. Okay, he... <laughs> <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Richie, are you going to be able to do this? I'm losing it. Yes. Right. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> <laughs> hold this in, I'm gonna hold it in. Every time you mess with him, this cloud of fuzz comes <laughs> up. I know, you're gonna get my allergies up. Hey, if you like what we're doing, click here to subscribe to our YouTube channel, or click here to go to our website. Thank you.